In this video, we are going to demonstrate how to deploy Terramine's virtual appliance on Nutanix Hypervisor using Nutanix Prism Central and VA template. First, we log into Terramine's self-hosted portal and then move to the download section. Scroll down to Section 2, Download Package. Select the drop-down menu and choose the OVA file to be downloaded. Once done, move to Prism Central. Select the menu on the left-hand side and choose OVAs. Click Upload OVA. From here, select the cluster name that will be used to upload the OVA template. Next, specify the OVA template name. And optionally, pick up its checksum. We'll then go ahead and select our OVA file. Click Open and the upload will begin. Once the upload is complete, move to the left-hand menu, select OVAs, right-click your OVA file and select Deploy as VM. From here, we configure the virtual appliance. Name the appliance. Optionally, select the description, select our cluster, and then configure our CPU and RAM. In the next step, we will review the attached disk, which is obtained from the OVA's description. And next, we connect our virtual machine uh, to a network. In this case, we connect it to a VLAN called static. Next, we change the boot configuration to Legacy BIOS mode, select Disk and click Next. We make no changes to the Management section, everything will be defaulted and select Next. As a final step, under the Review tab, you will be able to once again view the virtual configuration attached disks and configured networks and from here you can select to create the virtual machine or go back and make additional changes. Click Create VM. Once the virtual machine is created, go to the left hand menu, click on VMs Then scroll down to find your virtual machine. Here's our virtual machine we just created. Click to open. Now select the More option and then Power On. Now select the Console tab from the top.
Now that the virtual machine has started, we can begin with the setup. Once prompted to log in, input setup as the username, hit enter, and then type setup as the password. Once again, hit enter. This will start the configuration manager and we will now be able to proceed with the configuration. Then we will specify our net mask. Specify your gateway. And finally, DNS. The next step will be to configure the appliance's role. Since this is a single node deployment, we can leave it as master. We will now wait a few minutes to allow for all of the virtual machine systems to start. And then we will go ahead and navigate to the IP address that you configured for this virtual machine using your preferred browser. Once connected, we will now need to accept the end user licensing agreement. Once complete, please select your default language and your default time zone. And now we will be able to create our first administrative user. Input your email address, your password, once again confirm the password, and click continue. The final step now is to input your license key. Your license key can be obtained from the self-hosted portal by navigating to the licenses tab. Click the key link and simply copy the now shown key. Paste the key into the required section and submit by clicking OK. This concludes the base deployment.